Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have been anywhere, but you came to my channel for that. I'm extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I am going to do a Pisces love prediction reading for August 29th through September 4th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know this energy can go either way. It can be your energy your significant other's energy, or someone else's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading, please give me a subscription or a like. I will be most humbled, honored, and I'm always very grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my lovable, empathetic, kind, sweet, fun, Pisces. Show me, spirit guys, what's going on with my loving, sweet, kind Pisces. Show me, spirit guys, what you got going on with Pisces. Show me, spirit guys, Pisces. Let me see what you got going on. See. Justice. The star card. Six of Swords. Ten of Pentacles. And the Death card. Huh. Well, I'm going to tell you what I see here. First of all, you have the Justice card, which is a balanced card. It's all about balance. Um, but more important with the Justice card here, I think this is a marriage. This is a marriage that, that um, whomever I'm reading for, this Pisces, that you've been in this marriage for a while. But here, here's the deal. You have the Star card next to this uh, Justice card, next to the Justice card, which means that there's something you've been hoping for. Something that um, you have, um, you've wanted to, um, there's something here, some type of mood, some something. And what I'm looking at is I think that you're hoping to find love again with a marriage. I think this is a loveless marriage. I do. I, I really do. I hate to say that, but that's what I do. Now, I say marriage, just and when I say marriage, it could mean a partnership that has been together. You've lived together. Um, you live together now. But this hope card here is that you've asked the universe to bring it back together, but it's not coming back together. This is a marriage that has fallen apart and it's not coming back together. You've asked and asked, but it's not coming back together. There's no balance here. This could be a Libra person as well. Could be anyone, but could be a Libra as well. Um, but there's no balance with this. There, there is, it's just, it's just a bunch of, it's just not there anymore. It's almost, you know, it's a loveless marriage. Um, and here's a six of swords here that's in the middle of your reading. And what is going on, what I see is going on, is the fact that you are making a choice to walk away from this marriage. Either it's a marriage, like I said, or a partnership where you've been with someone, live with someone. But you're choosing to walk away. You want peace because you've had no peace here. There's always been something, one thing after another. You've had no peace and you're choosing to walk away from it. Now, here is the Ten of Pentacles that I have next. The problem, there's another problem for you, though. If you walk away from the marriage, do you leave the, the, the uh, you, you, you um, take the family that you've had with this person and what happens now? What happens now with that family that you do love? That family that checks all your boxes, that family that when you look at them, it brings tears to your eyes because they bring you great joy. Well, when you walk away, that you have to think about those things, and that's what you're in right now, trying to figure out how this is going to affect the family that you love so much. Now, I do see you walking away, though, because here, the last card that we have in this part of the spread, the very last card we have is a death card, which is transformation. Transformation, death is all. The death card can be a Scorpio person as well. Remember, it's a general read, so it can be anyone. But the card said, um, for the death card, the zodiac sign Scorpio comes up. So this can be a Scorpio person that you are transforming or that you are transitioning away from. 
because like I said, this is a loveless marriage or a loveless relationship. This is a relationship that you have tried. You have stuck in there. You've done everything. You've tried to, to stand in there, but it's just not working. So if this is your read, please give me three to five minutes and let me see what the spirit guides are going to tell me. I am going to clarify the cards. I'm going to clarify the cards to try to see what the spirit guides want you to know in addition to. So let's see what's happening here. Why is it just this card here? Sit back. Three to five minutes is all I need because whomever I'm reading for, you really need to listen to this because this is about you and trans transformation. Um, and it involves your life. It involves your life and family. So let's see why the justice card is here. Show me spirit guides. Show me spirit guides. Why is it justice card here? Oh, you have the queen of swords. Okay, so you have to be the queen of swords here. You, you you know, like I said, you this marriage or this relationship, this partnership that you've been in, it's, it's just been a partnership. It's not a marriage anymore. So the queen of swords is an energy of being very direct, very yes or no. There is no gray matter with the queen of swords. It's like you've put up with a lot for quite some time and now it's time to make those moves to, to, for those choices to be made. Um, so the queen of swords, they say sometimes, and I'm going to be very honest, is my bitch card because she is what she is. She doesn't care. She, she's endured things and you know, this is the way she wants it. This is the way she's going to get it. And if you can't do it that way, then guess what? She's going to move on. So let's say, look at, look at the star and it does have something to do with a relationship, a marriage or a long-term relationship. Um, and I think it's just, it's, and it's a loveless marriage or a loveless relationship. It's a partnership. It's turned into a partnership. So let's see why the star card is here. Show me spirit guides. Oops. So you've got the five of wands. Yeah, this is a, this is conflict, constant fighting, constant fighting, always fighting. It's just not coming. It's, it's not like it used to be. Um, and you really thought you were past these type of storms with this star card here. Like I said, you were hoping that you could get back, but uh, -uh it's constant fighting, forever fighting, constant fighting, conflict. So let's see why the six of swords is here. Show me spirit guys. Got the devil card. Okay. So here's the problem with this. And that's not really a problem. But when I see the devil card, the devil card always gets a bad rap, like I say. But for this particular reading, the devil card is here for a reason. This is the devil card. It's not a incredible love type situation that I see with this. I see with the devil card here, this is a bad habit. And I, I don't even know how to say this is a, This is an unhealthy obsession. Um, this is um, This is a relationship that is unhealthy. It's just unhealthy. The devil card is definitely showing... Um, that it's an unhealthy um, relationship. Yet it's a partnership, but it's unhealthy. It's not. It's not. It's. It's not. It's not in that type of. Um, it's a loveless relationship. It's a loveless marriage. It's. It's just not. It's unhealthy. It's un unhealthy. Yet you still are together. Something ties you together, but you're considering walking away. So let's see. Why is this Ten of Pentacles here? Show me spirit, guys. And in addition with the Devil card, it has something to do with intimacy. So let's see why the Ten of Pentacles is here. Show me spirit, guys. I have the Eight of Pentacles here. Yeah, well, you and this person may work together. Um, there's something here with the family. You may have a family business with them. I don't know. That's what I see because the Ten of Pentacles is family. So, and the eight of coins um, means work. So you may have a family business together as well. That's why it would make, be making it difficult for you to walk away. In addition, the eight of pentacles means that there's, there's always um, work. This is just a, a hard working relationship. Um, let's see. Why is the death card here? Show me spirit, guys. Why is the death card here? You have the three of cups, the three of cups. Now, when I see the three of cups, I'm going to tell you three of cups means partying and having a good time, but it also can mean that there's someone else in your relationship. 
three of cups, there's someone else. It's not just you and the other person. There's someone else that has gotten into your relationship. But you know it's no longer that you're going to take it. Guess what? You're going to transition out of this relationship. But let's look Let's look at this. The justice card. Justice for me means marriage, means balance, but it also can mean legality, marriage. Now, there's something with this marriage that just isn't right. You have the Queen of Swords here, which means the Queen of Swords can be my itch card with a B. You know what I'm saying. Queen of Swords is no joke. She sometimes can. She's just hardcore. She's just been through the storm. She's seen everything, and she's now no longer taking um, any of the uh, 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 or any of the. But I meant. But I meant. You, she's not taking that anymore. Um, that is, she wants it like she wants, it, and she's not going to stand for or settle for anything else. Here's a star card. She's been through the storms. Here's a star card. This can be an Aquarius person. Can't be anyone. Remember, this is a this is a general read. But star represents Aquarius, and you want this. You really asked the universe to bring this relationship back around. You really did. You had great hope. But here's a five of wands, which means there's all there's constant conflict that's going on again. Once again, you guys are in constant conflict. Now, here's the Six of Swords because you're getting ready to move away from this relationship because the Devil card, said, which could represent a Capricorn person, can be anyone, but like I said, the Devil card represents Capricorn. There's, um, and the Capricorn, I mean, excuse me, and the Devil card is saying that this is unhealthy. This is unhealthy. This relationship or this loveless relationship, this partnership, that's all it is now. It's not a relationship. It's a, just a partnership. It's no love there. And it's unhealthy, but however, you do have a family, which makes it very difficult. Because I, I also see this could be a family business that you're part of, which makes it difficult to walk away from as well. Because the Eight of Coins is there, which is Eight of Pentacles, me, or Eight of Coins, or Eight of Pentacles in other decks. Which is basically saying that it's work. It's just, it's work. And it's over the Ten of Pentacles, so this looks like it could be a family business. But here's a death card here, which means you've had enough. The transformation can be a Scorpio person, but you've had enough of this situation. And I do believe that there are other people in your situation because, like I said, this is a loveless. This is just a partnership. It's a loveless marriage um, or a loveless relationship. And I see the three of cups there, which mean, could mean more than one person. Having fun, but having fun with more than just one person. So let's see. Show me spirit, guys. What do my African queens have to say? What do my African queens have to say? Well, let's see. Aunt Nancy, I see betrayal, betrayal. They're saying that it is betrayal within this relationship. But it's betrayal on both parts. It's betrayal because the love is gone. It's also betrayal because other people have been able to come in and um, make your relationship less than what it what it needs to be. Um, this is just a loveless partnership. A loveless partnership. And you want to move on because you really do want real love. That's what I have for you for your love prediction reading, Pisces.